Hello, my name is Aditya Agarwal. I am originally Indian, but I was brought up in Netherlands and Kuwait and Nigeria. However, at present, I'm studying at LSE, London School of Economics and Political Science. My degree is in Mathematics and Economics. It's my first year. And of course, it's, it's a university that's renowned for its economic research. And that is what really draws me in here. So we are in the central building right now. It's the first year that this has been open to students, staff and everyone at LSE. It was awarded as one of the most sustainable buildings that's been built in London, especially this year. Because if you look around, there's a lot of glass, a lot of lighting. It's really nice for students to study here because it's natural. It feels like we're studying in the open. And this is where the political science part of London School of Economics and Political Science comes in. This building houses the International Relations Department, the Politics Department, the think tanks like the US Center. So this is a lot of uh, analytical thinking, qualitative aspects of LSE that are in play here. So the purpose of the Alumni Center, which we could see here, is to maintain that bond that once you leave LSE, you still have LSE in you. And of course, LSE is known for its employment pros prospects and how much it really cares even after you're done with university, with what you're capable of doing, this is where it stays. This is Lincoln's in Fields, which is between the economics department and the rest of LSE. And this is, the, this is one of the largest green spaces in Westminster, London. So it's a very popular choice for students. Now, being anyone in London is quite a hectic life, but being a student is even more hectic. But that hectic is not tiring whatsoever. It is a hectic that really engages you. So what I mean by that is, when you're walking your way to LSE, you will encounter so many prominent buildings, just heritage, you will have a river that you have to cross, perhaps, who knows. And it's just that the traffic, the vibe essentially, really gets you going. It starts you for your day. And being LSE, it is right in the city centre of London. Truly, London as in Westminster, this is as central as you can get. And as a student, the ambiance is really authentic, British, and you enjoy that because it's incorporated with international culture. So if you want to have a social life, there are many clubs, restaurants, and any, anything you can name, you will find it here. And at the same time, you are surrounded by prestigious institutions like the British Museum, UCL, other universities as well, whom you can share your libraries with as an LSE student. So this really gives you a chance to get everything in one versatile area. So usually you have about two hours of lectures per module you do. You do four modules, so I'd say eight hours. Of course, you know, depending on your subject, you might get some example workshops, sessions to better your understanding. Then you have classes on top of that, about one and a half hour of class, two hours, maybe even one hour for economics, for example. And then aside from all that, you can always walk in, schedule an appointment with your professor or class teacher in case you don't understand anything, so depending on how it goes, you know, your time is up to you in that terms. And whenever it comes in between, you know, say you have an hour between your lecture or class, you can have fun in terms of eating, talking to friends, your social time. If you want to study, there's the library as well, Grand Library, largest library dedicated to social sciences in UK as well as the world. My degree is mathematics and economics. People go on to do a diverse range of things, whether it be machine learning and you know fulfilling their dreams of uh, starting the next startup and funding their next uh, ambition, or it can also be something that is more qualitative, something that's more on the side of economics, even researching biological phenomena and pursuing a PhD in that, or going elsewhere and taking their school with them in uh, further research. So you also have finance, which is a very popular sector, banking, investment banking in particular, and consult consulting. 
So when it comes to applying to LSE especially, it is, you must of course have the grades. Now that's a bog standard requirement. But something that people often forget is that LSE is beyond grades. It is about meaning, as I've said many times. And in that, you must show that what you want to pursue is embodied in you. I wanted to study mathematics, economics, the applications of each other, within each other. I tried to embody that within my background. You need to convince and be convinced yourself that you can embody what you desire to pursue. I hope this has been a wonderful journey. If you would like to get to know more about all the other prestigious and top schools in the world, please do like and subscribe.